All right, guys. So I hope you are definitely enjoying the series of statistics with us. Let's go ahead and try some new questions, good level questions. I'm very sure you know the basics so far. So this particular question, you know the drill. Pause the video, try it on your own, and then see the solution. Okay, so I'm going for it. A certain list consists of 21 different numbers. All right, and n is one of the number. And it is four times the average of the other 20 numbers. Nothing given about the other 20 numbers. Just they are different numbers. So whenever you see these kind of things, I'm going to assume the numbers as x1, x2, x3 and so on till x20. And 1 is our n. Then n is what fraction of the sum of the 21 numbers? Alright, so I have to find out some relation between n and all of these together. Of course, I cannot find each of them individual. No much of data is given over here. Let's see how I'm going to approach it. Within three lines, this will be done. Let's go to the whiteboard. So as already told to you, my numbers x1, x2, x3, dot 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 x20 and n. Now read this line very carefully n is a number which is four times the average what is the average some of the numbers average of 20 numbers be careful average of 20 numbers not all the 21 numbers so 20 numbers sum divide by 20 cancels cancels and now from here i have the value of sum of all the rest 20 numbers that is equals to 5n that's it three lines we are almost done n is what fraction of the 21 numbers be careful of the 21 numbers not 20 numbers so he's looking for n upon all the numbers x1 plus x2 dot 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 x20 plus n i know the value of this guys this is nothing but 5n put it over here what do you have n upon 5n plus n n upon 6n and we are done 1 by 6 that's it that's the answer you're looking for. Let's go and check the option choices. Yeah. So 1 by 6, definitely there in the options. And we are done. So be careful how you're going to target these questions. Whenever there are some numbers, you cannot find them all. Assume them x1, x2, x3 and so on. And then try to find out the relation. And that's it. Let's move to the next question. Okay, so if the average of 3, 8 and W is greater than or equal to W, fine, and smaller than or equal to 3, W. Okay, you're looking for the number of values of W, integral values. Many a times you get such kind of questions, you're looking for integral values of some specific number. Let's go to the whiteboard and try it out. We'll do it, definitely, why not? Okay. So arithmetic mean of 3, 8 and W. What is the arithmetic mean guys? Sum of the numbers upon number of numbers. Now what is this arithmetic mean? This is greater than or equals to W but less than or equals to 3 W. So let's first solve this inequality. 3 goes there, 9 W greater than 11 plus W, 8 W greater than 11 w greater than 11 by 8 or somewhere 1 point something i'm not interested in exact value ultimately you are looking for the integral values the first value w will be able to take is nothing but 2 which is greater than 1 point something something let's try to solve this side of the inequality as well 11 plus w is greater than equals to now this goes over here 3w better to keep the w's or the variables positive so i'm taking this w over here 11 greater than equals to 2w w less than 5.5 so what are the values of w 2 3 4 and 5 that's it greater than 1 point something less than 5.5 i just have four values 2 3 4 and 5 why you looked for integral values so the answer is four i hope many of you have got the answer if you haven't guys still we need to practice a little bit more 
but more or less you are going to see such kind of questions in GMAT. Slowly I'll increase the level further. Okay, so 4. Yes, so the answer is D. That's clearly 4. Let's try one more for today and then we'll end it up and then we'll wrap it up and we'll meet in the next video. You have the options. You can continue doing all the questions, right? All the videos are already lined up. You can see that in the playlist. Sit for an hour and finish up the entire topic. All right. So now they're looking for the mean of this big numbers. Now the question seems tricky, but it isn't. Just a little thing you need to be very careful of. No, of course not. You're not going to calculate this. There's a simple catch, guys. Look at the numbers. They are very close. 54320 and 54322. Let's see what I'm going to do with this. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, minus 1 whole square. And I'm going to write this as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, plus 1 whole square. That's it. Now it's done. You're looking for the mean. So sum of the numbers divided by number of the numbers. Now this is a minus b whole square. This is a plus b whole square. I assume this as a, this as b. So here also it is a and it is b. What's a minus b whole square? a square minus 2ab plus b square plus a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square upon 2. Cancels, cancels. 2a square plus 2b square upon 2. Ultimately a square plus b square. Here's your answer. What was your a? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Plus, what shall be? 1. 1 square is 1. That's the answer. Simple. You're done. Now you might think, that how would we think that we have to write it in that format? Guys, with the help of little practice. And also, I've already told you, the answer or the hint lies in the option choices as well. It's not just about the question. Look at the options. Each option had 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right? Forget about this one and this one. But three major options have 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It must have had something to do with 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's all I thought. And I've got to the answer and right approach. I hope you understood this. Please like, share and subscribe the video. Share with your friends free education, quality education, and I promise you guys I'll bring in entire quant content on YouTube. Let the revolution begin. And I'm very sure if you're done with all these videos, no question can come out of this. You will definitely score a Q50 at least in your GMAT. Just watch this videos each and every content. Practice them. That's all. Goodbye and take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.